All righty. Good evening, Hornets and many other viewers. My name is Scorch Darren, also known as Darren Brinks. And joining me to my left. Uh, I'm Nate Crusade, formerly known as Nathan. Nate, how you doing? I am doing great. I'm really excited to, to see this gameplay. You know, uh, uh, the semifinals of uh, the Hornet Esports Valorant season. Uh, you know, we've been re really looking forward to it. Our uh, quarterfinals was rather close. Uh, so this map, the, you know, uh, this, this match is looking pretty hype. Yeah, all righty. We have Emporia State University going up against the Fort Lewis College Skyhawks. And as you were saying, I mean, you feel pretty confident, Nate? Yeah, I mean, we we've only dropped one game in our entire uh, preseason, so sure. we are yeah we're really looking to storm playoffs and hopefully get to that finals position. Sure, alrighty. Well, now we can just kind of talk about what we liked. You know, it's been a while since at least I've had experience with Valorant. I think it's been about a year and a half since I've shoutcasted Valorant, and I'm very excited to get this opportunity because we got this great LAN event going on at the, uh, you know, the Griffin Esports Arena. You know, this kind of came up surprisingly, and you're like, do you want to shoutcast Valorant, like, for, this, for the first, and then you get another opportunity later today. But I was like, yeah, let's do it, and that's what I'm very excited to. And it's not, you know, every day I get a different shoutcaster. <laughs> exactly, yeah, and it's always fun to, you know, check out your ISIS space, and we are very thankful that you you had us and we got to see all your nice facilities well i appreciate that yeah no this is uh, it's just very exciting but of course this one this first match i believe uh on the shoutcast side it's a little fun right uh, i believe we do have um our uh our ads in the bottom left too so that uh we do know who we are working with so uh with that too bind is going to be the first map what do you think about bind so bind is actually one of our best maps a lot of our players like playing it. we have a lot of synergy we've had a lot of uh, good fortune on it all except for one of our players easy uh he hates playing brimstone on this map yeah. but we make him do it anyway <laughs> he does such sure. a great job at it but he does not like it mm -hmm. other than that you know uh uh you know bind is one of my personal favorites uh and it also allows hotshot to whip out his viper mm -hmm. uh, uh viper is his uh main main agent and he really shines on it he uh, he has so many lineups he uh has such a great in-game instinct when it comes to playing viper that i'm really excited to see him shine on this map sure yeah bind is not really one of my favorite maps sure like it's fun i think it's pretty balanced if you play it right sure but i'm actually more of a split guy that's just me i know that's like an unpopular <laughs> opinion love split loved in beta when it came out i still love it today even with the small little changes yeah it's just beautiful so hopefully we'll see a split game but um so as we know right now, Emporia State University, right? ESU, you guys, you guys are attacking first on bind. How comfortable do you feel with that? I think we're going to be okay with it. I think um, uh, our uh, Maze Sky is really going to shine here. Uh, she has such a talent for uh, for piloting that agent. Uh, uh, we have her on it every single map that, that yeah. we, we possibly can. Throwing birds at people. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and she has been such a great initiator at helping us get on site for those attacking phases. Sure. All righty. Uh, yeah. So right now we are seeing the 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 defense side. There we go. Now we're on uh, now we're on attack. I, I also want to mention uh, Ghost Stop on his Yoru. Uh, uh, like like a couple of our uh, other players, he is also uh, sort of one tricked Yoru, and he he knows so many of those small mechanics. Mm -hmm. uh, he he really can play the map like a like a violin with Yoru. So I I'm honestly that's what makes this map so good is that we all get to pick our comfort picks. We all get to to really shine, and I'm really excited to to see uh you know the entire season of practice of these guys playing together. I'm excited to see it all all come forward. Sure, I think there will be a little bit of a tech pause here. Now, one thing I do already realize, though, is that Hotshot just has this lineup from Spawn, right? And I just think that's... I'm already learning things. I'm already <laughs> going to be surprised with what I see from both sides, not just ESU, right? And of course, I'm from Missouri Western, so uh, you know we don't necessarily have Valorant this semester. Hoping that we get it eventually, but of course, it's my last semester. So, uh, but with that, I'm just super excited to learn. I play, I play Swift play and Spike Rush for a living. <laughs> like it, it, I play for fun. So this will be this will be interesting. And you know, I one trick KO. It's very unfortunate that I don't see a KO here. I'm actually very upset right now. You, you um, talk may, to the players yeah. about that one for me. You you may see a KO later on. Oh I man, might, that'd be uh, beautiful. Pull, pull some strings. Uh but yeah, the the difference but ooh, look at those classic skins. Mm, yeah, uh, putting money into the that game. Is <laughs> absolutely incredible. Emporia State with ooh, 100 thieves. Not not a sponsor. Uh what a what a, <laughs> what a 
what a classic. Oh, uh, Blitz but, Pup? <laughs> but yeah, 5v5 competitive Valorant is, is such a magical thing compared to, you know, j just uh, grinding the game on, on its own. Mm -hmm. You know, learn not only learning lineups and that sort of stuff, but learning how to, how to combo them together, learning how to get on site, having different playbooks and game plans for different sites, learning how to adapt on the fly to, uh, you know, different different sites, different, you know, traps or positions that the enemy likes playing. It, it's it's such a balancing. Oh, is he going to go look for the teddy bear? Yeah. Oh, turn around, please. Please. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah let's go. <laughs> That's the real star of the show right there. <laughs> oh, look at Wide him. bear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I believe I think it's on the side of uh, the Skyhawks. It could be. Uh, waiting for i think we're taking a little bit again we have a little bit of uh yeah, something technical probably mechanical with uh, one of the players pcs so on from that what else you got for us nate what else you got going on i mean we could talk about any of the other esports teams that you know that you guys have i believe uh you guys have another valorant game tonight right i think that's uh mcec though right msec yeah, that is a part of MSEC. We'll be playing uh, Northwestern uh, Missouri State University. That's something that we are really excited for. They are currently undefeated within the MSEC season, so we're really excited to see uh, how we fare uh, against them. Uh, we are, ooh, look at those beautiful. <laughs> Why, why she, she actually looks a little derpy. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. A derpy, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh man, I love this. <laughs> the closer you get, the worse it. The worse it is. That's that's great. Have you ever have you ever played <laughs> Swift? <laughs> you ever played Swift player Spike Rush at two in the morning? That's what a lot of the interesting players come out. There's like vipers <laughs> that want to give you head pats, and I'm like, what is wow. going on? Like it's actually it's really funny. <laughs> you know, I can't say that I have. I'm an unrated and competitive man myself. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we will be uh, starting up real shortly, so we won't be able to look at your sideburns for much longer, unfortunately. Sure. Well, yeah, I'm curious to know if they're, you know, this is probably, it's probably a whole PC restart at this, right? Uh, yeah, it but was. we'll just, you know, we'll just see, you know, how this goes. It seems like we're flying through the battle. I'm curious to know. I'm curious to know if we're going to see any more Easter eggs. So, you know, that bear spray, too, one of my favorites, considering it's the only free one I have. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, it's been so like I have like a bunch of the like the old like skins and sprays from the beta, right? Like I have the dot exe skins and, oh, wow. you know, yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> The closer you get, the worse it is. Yeah, honestly, really. we're having fun here, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, I'm really excited to see how they how they get on it. Oh, here we go, actually. Yeah. Out of the technical timeout. Of course, as yeah. you said, is it pronounced easy E? Yeah, easy. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I thought so. Yeah, so we, we, we see this this uh this viper wall come up, uh uh, you know, splitting splitting down a main, which gives us a lot of room to play. But also the, the enemy viper uh put up a wall as well, kind of uh, interfering with that, but you know, we're it's all about playing slow, but if you notice in, in uh, showers raises, you know, taking space and there's uh, no one defending it, so there will be a free orb for uh, for raise. Yeah, here we go. We'll start to see the push here, though. Already pushing up towards lanterns. Nice brim, or somewhat nice of a brim, Molly. Actually taking your down to about half HP. May already finding the first elimination onto MNO. Berkey will follow up with that as well. A lot of pressure coming out from the side of ESU. Already taking sight to four versus two. I think this round, honestly, with the way it seems to be going, or wait, maybe I have it switched. Do I have it swapped? No, I think I'm going insane, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're currently winning. We're uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> three to one right now. Uh, Hotshot just picked up the spiking. We'll be planning. What I love about that was the you know, was the the rays uh, flanking through showers. That they were not covering that at mm -hmm. all, uh, and that was really to to the downside of them. Uh, um, Berkey was able to get in and, and get a kill with some damage. So wonderful play by by Hornets. All right. Yeah, it was nice, too. It seems like they just kept the momentum going. I think another like just one of the things I see uh, just when I play Valorant is that is a, mi a, mi a simple miscommunication can really make a difference in a round. Right. Let's mm. say let's say only three of the players from ESU push there. Right. That honestly would have just abruptly stopped them and lost some of the round. So it's honestly beautiful, beautiful team synergy coming out from ESU. Of course, so I do find it kind of hard to defend on this map too, right? You know, there's only a couple of ways you can rotate around as a defender, so... Yeah, absolutely. There's only so many choke points. There's only so many things to uh, to activate here. A uh, one difference that we're seeing here is that you know Hotshot's covering the flank, seeing everyone's going to peek peek from hookah into market. 
um, which hopefully he's you know looking to to find something. But unfortunately for him, the enemy team is five stacked on A. Uh, so we'll have to see how that plays out and see uh, how quickly is you can realize that and rotate over to B. Yeah, here we go. We seem to have Ghost Stop using a stinger. Teleports in. Mamba taking out May. Ghost Stop takes out MNO. Wagon Ghost Stop. It seems like there's trades all around. It's a 3v3 right now. Brimstone trying to cut off that rotate. Oh, he has the angle. Nice headshot coming from easy. I like the initiation for Viper to just go ahead and go to B. He picked up the spike and immediately uh, immediately running there. So they uh, looks like they will be able to plant. Uh, while EZ will will cover the flank and hookah. Yeah, and look at this too. Now again, there's only a couple of ways. You can either take the teleporter, you can rotate through spawn, right? And so this is what I'm talking about. B just completely left open right now, and it's a two v two. So site was taken freely by ESU. Oh, do they understand what Brim's doing here though? Uh, oh he no, he the, fell for he, it. He, oh, he gets a hit one for one trade. All right, now Hacho just has to hold him out. You know, it is a timer uh, 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 on the enemy team. He hears the. Uh, he hears the defuse. Will he get it in time? Oh, and he nice. will find the headshot. Wow. What a play. Yeah, coming down to a 1v1. You know, pros don't fake, man. <laughs> Yoru <laughs> wanting to hold it there. It just finds themselves unsuccessful, though. Honestly, it got a little bit close there. Got about, uh, I'd say, about three-fourths of the way there. But, you know, great patience coming up from Hotshot. It was a it was a brave defuse sticking with it. I think it was it was it was almost the right call. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just too many lines of sight to check on B for him to uh, to try and fake it. So I I think going for it was was the right decision. Uh, but calling him on it I think was appropriate of Hotshot. So very good point. And as you can see, they're they're sacking back A. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Raise Nade. Gonna go ahead and be on A short, trying to see if anybody is in that small little alleyway there. It seems to be a showers push that will come out from the side of ESU. Yeah, and this time it's a it's a two three stack, uh, two on B. Uh, now there uh, there is the the fast rotate through the teleporter to get across the map to uh, maybe pinch them off. So ESU still has to be careful here, but it looks like they are going to slowly but surely get on site. Brimstone though, being a controller, doing his job, it's a little hard to to actually enter. Yeah, and I'm thinking here, Hotshot's actually going to play super aggressive. They're only four points away from their ultimate. I'm assuming that they're going to want it as soon as possible because I think it's going to be a big game changer for any push here if they can get that spike down. Now, that is two down for, for ESU being picked off slowly as they just can't quite find their way oh. onto site. Hotshot trying to wallbang someone but not able to find anyone. He takes Mama down to about half HP, though, so a good... I mean, that could possibly make a difference, especially with the Guardian. He's only two shot now, so... Absolutely, man. On the flank here doesn't really have much in terms of in terms of firepower except for a sheriff. So we'll have to see how this plays out. It's the your fake Lynn Hotshot oh. does get a kill, but it's traded uh, by Jay Grins. Does he know that the Rays is rotating on over to that right side though? He might catch out the enemy Viper though. The patience coming out from the side of ESU though. I think yeah, they're just maybe. trying to they're save their have, weapons. Yeah, plant. it's only ten seconds. They need to either oh they need to either rush or plant or try and find some kill. But it looks like neither is going to happen here. Hotshot finds an elimination. They're just one step closer to their ultimate. Oh, trying to make uh, sure. An ace coming out from Jay Grins, actually. Very well played. Of course, good defense. Good hold by both sides, I'd say, but just too much time. You know, too much good of a hold, I'd have yeah. to say. You know, until they plant, ESU is on a timer. They they really have to pick up the pace and make sure they can actually get on site. Uh, Brimstone can stall, but if if you don't adapt to that, if you're not changing your game plan, you're, you're just waiting uh, for the for those smokes to drop. Uh, you're just, as we saw, uh, the, the numbers are just going to keep dropping. You're going to start losing them one by one until eventually you're not going to be able to get on site on time. So I'm, I'm hoping to see a bit more uh, haste and hurry as they go. Uh, they, they send 4A again. I think uh, I, I think one thing I'm really interested to see is the Viper lurking on B, you know, clearing the sites, trying to see if he can find anyone on B. Unfortunately, he will not see them going down uh, B long. Uh, this so might work out for Viper, though. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, Viper might be able to wrap around uh, the enemy spawn to try and uh, get around, but they're that those two. Oh no! Yeah. Oh wait, Ray's almost ran into him. If you look at the mini map at the top yeah, left, oh no, he's gonna run into him. Ray's Who's gonna, gonna get taken out though? Oh no, Berkey! Fall, not expecting the two of them, thinking that area was cleared, but just unfortunately did not go uh, that way. And two more will, uh, two more will drop. So it is two v four for ESU. One v four, just hot shot left.
trying to stick out, but in the weirdest of places. I mean, you know, you'd think at this point you don't see anyone, right? So there could only be one other spot where they come from. Oh, they're making too much noise. Oh, hot shot managing to find one. Can he find another? Oh, no, he nope. was so close. He whiffed it. You know he's going to be beating himself up later about that one. Rough. Yeah, I mean, you, you saw the you saw the Viper lurking through B, able to make it all the way around to flank uh, through s the spawn side of A, which would have been such a great play. But unfortunately, the other members just weren't quite able to stall uh, for long enough. They ended up getting getting picked off one by one. Yeah, two to two now, 10 seconds before we start the fifth round of the game. Game looking pretty even right now. And, you know, I was, I'm not going to lie to you. ESU was looking pretty destructive. They just knew how to push. They knew how to play the pistol rounds. But of course, that number one rule, you know, you win that first round, you're bound to win, you know, the next one and possibly the next one after that. And that's kind of that pattern we saw there. But now, ever since everyone got guns, game's even. Oh, Jay I Grins finds one already. Yeah, Hotshot will fall and that'll be that'll be big pressure. That was that was a, a, a lot of their their B push through uh, through main. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they adapt. Now they find it. No one even has the spike right now. Yeah, remember when Viper first came out? Nobody played her. Very, you know, just not the greatest character. Now Viper just has played so much because of the map control you can have with her. Yeah, she has so much utility, so many different things that she can do, That's different ways of playing. Uh, and it really is a very skill expressive, uh, skill expressive agent. Oh, oh Berkey, Berkey. behind for the G the kill on Jay Grins. What I thought play. it was a knife. I'm not gonna lie. I wish. I wish. 40 seconds left. They're going to have to start making move here, but they're finally starting to oh. head through Buka. Trying to find a way, but not able to get on. Seeing the three there. May will find one. Oh, wait a minute. It just seems it's going back and forth now at 2v2. Ooh, easy. Managing to find Wagon. Nice, Molly. Will actually manage to secure this plant down. You got to watch out on elbow side, though. That's where Raze is. Nice Sky Ultimate. Yeah, that was a beautiful brimstone ultimate to to clear the site and even even picked up a kill. I'm sure Easy oh, is wow. Easy is happy about that one. That was a great headshot from Easy as well. He might not like playing brimstone, but uh, he definitely has his moments. Just trying to find the last one. Will they expect the wraparound? Yeah, I think they got the intel on brim actually. Maybe they just have to wait it out. I like how nice crossfire. Nice. Look at that. May already managing to find or will find the last person standing on the side of the Skyhawks. What Three to thrifty. two. What a thrifty. Love to see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a save round for you guys, right? It was, yeah. But we were able to 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 clutch it out. You know, I, I, honestly, I was a little scared once Viper fell, uh, you know, making it a, a really quick 4v5. Uh, but, you know, our discipline waiting for that Brimstone ult and then eventually getting the Sky ult as well to just help find, help clear. Uh, and able to get that plant down. I think that's what's important. Once we get the plant down, uh, we know how to defend it. We know how to force them on the timer. It's just about actually getting to site and doing that. Yes, yeah. you trying to go for a B take here. At least what it seems. At least over on B side, at least. We'll see your ultimate. Your, yeah, we'll see your ultimate make its way out now. Getting a clear site. He sees the two uh, and does not see anyone else and sees them both. Uh, but both playing uh, rather towards the long side. So we'll see what ESU does with this information. Hotshot finds one. Ghost Stop finds one as well, too. He'll make sure a TP goes back towards Garden. Goomba Stomper probably could have peeked there to try and stop that Viper ultimate. Wow, look nice. at that. It's going to be a flawless round. Coming out from the side of ESU. Kind of a kind of a waste of a viper ult there. Just how quickly the rest of his teammates uh, <laughs> dropped the well, I don't think ESU exactly imagined to get that site so easily. Yeah, you know, it, it was just kind of luck of the draw how uh, the only two agents defending B were playing B long uh, and left Hookah almost completely uh, unprotected except for the Viper wall. So they were able to get in there quite easily. Plus the Yor ult to help clear sight really just gave ESU the space, uh, the space necessary. And here I'm, I'm really interested to see how they do this. They're sending Yor through showers, but it looks like uh, the rest of them will be grouping uh, through B main. But again, that Viper wall just stops stuff. You know, the, the the two controllers on the enemy side are really locking down this this A site to make sure that uh, ESU does not get a clean entry. 
Yeah, the anticipation kind of kills you. I'm not going to lie. You're just wondering, you know, who's going to get that Berkey. first pick. Oh, my gosh. Berkey managing to find Mamba. Following up now will be May finding Jay Grins. Berkey over in Lanterns finds that angle on MNO. Nice heals coming up from Sky now. Oh, they understand where they are right now. Oh, no. Berkey finds three. Can he find the 4K? Maybe. No, it's just a waiting game. It's 4v1. They do not have to, uh, you know, they do not have to push this. This is what I'm loving from ESU this round is the the patient win needed and aggressive. Oh, nice flick. A little micro flick amazing. from a hot shot. Yeah. I loved how patient patient they were. You know, they waited for the Viper ult to drop. They waited for their opportunity. And most importantly, they waited for Berkey to get into position. Uh, you know, he is the highest ranked on the team. He really has that mechanical skill. So being able to, you know, show off those double satchels and, you know, uh, find that first blood with the, uh, with the, uh, the rocket is, it was absolutely incredible. And as soon as he went in, you saw uh, ESU really jump to action there and uh, take that space, clean up the site. Uh, what, what a beautiful round. Yeah, ESU, again, as you were saying with the mechanical skill, flying over U-Haul, and, you know, I don't think exactly, um, uh, I don't think, oh, wait a minute, this is a rush right up towards A short, hot shot gets taken out by the Raisnade, it's a back and forth, it's a 3v3, May playing it patiently, swings, can they get that last pick though, about 65 HP left on May. Yeah, we were not expecting this at all. We've not seen this this level of aggression. Uh, oh, Berkey, though. Oh, May with the great spray. We'll find that last one on the wagon. Now up by four rounds. What a great adaptation from ESU. You know, seeing, like, very quickly adapting to this very really sudden aggression. They, they were not expecting at all for them to shove A main like, like they just did. Um, you know, they, they've been playing so passively, so, you know, waiting for the enemy team to have to face uh, their, their their controller's wrath. But coming forward like that and adapting and finding those kills uh, was, was absolutely incredible adaptation. I didn't gone. get to make my pun, man. I was going to make a U-Haul pun. Now it's just, that round just happened so fast. Now, now I'm just sad. It's okay. <laughs> I, I'm sure we'll get another U-Haul play shortly. You'll be able to. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Berkey finds an early kill. That's going to be really, in, really impactful, getting that for uh -oh, here comes essentially free. Oh, wait. Oh. Where'd the wolf go? Zeke is clearing the site. Barely see someone. Right here. Still has to watch that left hand. Yeah, you see, you see Zeke ping that. There you go. Hot shot. Oh Hotshot my god. Double kill and be long. The site's now completely free. With three down, it's a it's a 5v2, and they're pretty much free to play it. And again, all they have to do is play patient. As we've seen, they're really good at playing patient. See them get into position, making sure that every angle is covered, playing the site beautifully. You know, you can tell that they know exactly what to do and where to go. They've prepped for situations like Are they saving? I think they're saving, right? Yeah, it, lo it looks like they're probably saving. They're not pushing. They they, they know they're not going to win a 5v2. Uh, and, and the fact that they're down four rounds, I mean, their economy is shot at this point. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they, it's really imperative that they can save those guns to make sure that they have at least a little bit of firepower going into the next round. Yeah, ECU has figured out that, uh, that they are just saving, moving away to, to save themselves as well. Um I'm really interested to see how the defenders will, um, you know, try to recover from this. Being being five rounds down is not fun. Uh, is not fun at all. Again, their economy cannot be doing great health, very healthy right now. And we oh, will see this is going to be important. Yeah. So this is when we can just kind of take a look now. You guys are up by five rounds, right? And you know, yeah. keeping you know keeping things biased or unbiased. Oh my god, <laughs> I messed up that sentence <laughs> yeah. horribly wrong. Keeping things unbiased, right? So, we, I mean, you guys are attacking beautifully now. I think you guys are finding openings and finding these open picks um, just, you know, in your favor, right? Like finding that early pick on the Yoru in showers, right? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, that double kill on B long. Those things are huge. I think what needs to happen, you know, this is just from my perspective, is that I think the Skyhawks need to just take a step back and not play so aggressive, right? Agree? Disagree? 
Yeah, you know, I, I, I think so. In some, in some cases, uh, you know, they're, they're maybe they're trying to preserve a little bit too much space, or perhaps uh, you know, divvying out the resources a little bit too much. But if they play towards spawn and they really, uh, and they really wait out ESU, it, you know, it's very possible that that they could sell them out. As we saw in those, you know, the the two rounds that uh, that ESU lost, it was because they weren't able to get on site. It was because they were slowly whittled down they weren't able to find any picks but uh, you know if they can take away the ability to play for picks uh then they take away ESU's ability to um uh, to really play for for side it really forces them on that timer nice flash coming up from the enemy sky there yeah that will identify that uh uh that they have seen someone so they know that at least one is sitting ESU uh you can say they use dog to clear out the rest of mid uh, we'll see uh, May on the sky. I think Berkey's going to try and find another elimination. He doesn't quite know that you're teleported away, though. So you yeah, just Berkey, get a oh, Berkey, Berkey does though. Find the kill on the enemy rays. I, you know, I love that. I love again. I, I love how patient ESU is able to play. You know, sending sending Berkey on the lurk to try and find one kill after showing presence mid showing presence towards B it really gave him the room to, to step up and do something about it and right now they're back to playing patient you can see it they're just uh, this is like a perfect five stack defense slowly working together you see them moving in tandem they're all moving together uh, as uh, absolutely beautiful coordination slowly taking that space as an entire unit yeah you just don't get that synergy in one day too you can tell they've been practicing working together right it's a beautiful sight to see may already finds goomba they might find wagon here too wagon managing to turn around finds go stop oh Ooh. nice wall bang coming out from hot or from may i believe oh no hot shot got that last elimination there from swinging off their teammate very well played a four versus two esu has the advantage in numbers and they have sight as well too spike already planted it's 4v2 and, but you can see here they're, they're not looking uh you know defenders are not looking to save this round they're looking to come forward and they do find a kill trying to wall bang hot shot as well but not quite able to do it Hot shot being patient, not quite swinging yet. Wow, look at that in that corner. Oh, two versus one. Just Mamba left. Oh, no, hot shot. You went the wrong way. Gets no. taken out with the ultimate. Berkey, though, following up, finds that last elimination. That's what's going to count. Eight to two. ESU up by six. This is one thing that I love about Valorant so much is is sort of the butterfly effect that comes from stuff. I mean that that kill on on Rays that Berkey got uh, over in Showers that may not have seemed super impactful, just you know an extra kill. That's kind of nice. But if he didn't go that way, if Berkey wasn't able to be be long there to to find that extra kill, uh, you, you know Brimstone would have been able to. Uh, able to defuse and that, that round would have gone completely differently but now ESU is able to keep up that momentum able to keep up their economy which must be looking spectacular right now um and really able to keep snowballing this game uh for the next two rounds that's a cute charm I've never seen that charm before hold on a second <laughs> a little little jetty spaghetti you know it reminds me of a uh, reminds me of, of uh of the the Coraline movie oh Coraline. yeah I've yeah. seen it. well I I've not but I know what you're talking about the yeah, style the, of it yeah the freaky little dolls <laughs> all right we'll see your ultimate come out from I believe that's the side of the Skyhawks yeah that was Skyhawks a lot of information gathered there has no knowledge of three of the players on ESU Yeah, he didn't get a whole lot from that ultimate. ESU playing their cards pretty close to hand. Uh, we'll have to see what they're able to uh, to get. We see Hotshot clearing up B long. We see them pushing uh, Hookah, and it turns out that uh, <laughs> pretty much no one is on the site. You even see Rays uh, already rotating a little bit, not really sure where they need to be. I think they hear the noise from the wolf, though. Oh, maybe not. Maybe backing off and waiting for their team to rotate now. I think we're going to have all five trying to retake from one side. Nobody's going to go through the teleporter. You got to love the 5v5 post plant. You know, and they do have the numbers advantage because they, they'll, they're they probably expecting at least someone through the, the TP. So the fact that there are, oh my gosh. And they immediately take the site. ESU, ESU is watching every flank except for that one. Look how patient ESU is. Oh no. Caught with your knife out. Caught with your knife out. MNO with on, the raise ultimate finds Brim. Oh, it's a back and forth. It's a 3v3. Oh, no, May. A couple of bullets. Miss Mamba there. Three versus two. 
Oh, they're defusing. They'll get away with it. And they got it with the thrifty. That's just the turnaround that Skyhawks are looking. Oh my God, Berkey! <laughs> but <laughs> Berkey, make sure they ain't gonna save those last two guns, though. Oh my gosh, that was uh, that was impressive. That that actually kind of blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. As I've said, Berkey, he's our our best mechanical player. His his ability to top frag almost every single game is quite impressive. Uh, and when it when it comes to those you know playmaking abilities, he really is the person to look to. Oh, forgot the spike there. <laughs> <laughs> I love the the custom voice lines from each of the agents when uh, when the spike. We forgot the spike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. But you know that's just the cleverness of Riot Games, right? Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. We do see some big ultimates. Look Ghost at Ghost up here. Great uh, information. Pushing through showers. Completely clears the site and then pushes through showers. Yeah. Oh, this one's He's a in a really weird position. Oh here. no. I don't think he did any damage to Brim. Oh, no, he got him down to about half HP. It was, it's, it's such an awkward place for them to be right now. But the spike has been planted, so now uh, uh, ESU has moved the, the timer on the Skyhawks and say, all right, you're Oh, moved. May's in trouble here. Here comes a swing. Oh, oh, no. May woofed it just a little bit. Oh, Jake, Jake grins. Let's find another kill. That's nice. Oh, ESU's dropping like flies. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This could be huge. This could be huge. Oh. No. oh, he finds two! He find two. That is nice. Maybe should have saved it for the, the next round, though. Yeah. Being, it, being as the next round... Oh, no, that was the last round. Yeah. Yeah, that was the last round of, of the current. So, so they will be switching sides here. Very well played. I think that's a good effort by both teams there, right? Only a four-round difference. Yeah, you know, that's not too bad. You know, there are certainly... Um, you know, worst situations to be in, uh, recovering from uh, being four down is completely doable. So we'll just have to see, you know, how good uh, the Skyhawks, uh, you know, attack phase is and, you know, see what, what they have lined up in their playbook. Little thumbs up there coming from the teddy bear. <laughs> Again, free sprays, love them. What's it easy? Are you okay? What's he doing to the spray? I'm. I think I'm scared of easy. <laughs> he has a lot of pent up anger. So, you know. <laughs> oh man. All right. Let's uh, give us some little insight here on the defensive strats of ESU. So one, one thing that uh, really outlines what ESU tries to do on bind is uh, sending the Viper uh, to anchor down B almost every time. It's just so effective in how they're able to do it. But as you can see, they rushed A quite quickly. So Viper has to uh, rotate over, making it a little bit slower. Uh, you know, Skyhawks also found one kill, so they're playing. Uh, ESU's playing a little down here. Berkey does find a response kill, though. Hot oh my gosh. Wow. It's already a four versus one. Emino finds one, finds two, still winnable. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Berkey, you know, just, uh, you know, spam and left click there, but one of the shots manages to hit. Very well played from ESU. Look at that, four to nine. Yeah, you Good start. You can you can tell that ESU really has uh, how to play retake down for A. So um, you know they can they can have uh, members off on B and be able to come in and clean up the site when necessary. That's that's very well done on their pistol round. Oh, that's trippy! I forgot those skins existed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that! Oh, oh man! Do you ever think that messes with the players visually, or do you think at that point you know they okay? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think that messes with the players, you know, visually or, you know, at that point they just ignore it because all you got to really do is just look at where your crosshair is at. You know, I think at the level that these guys are playing, absolutely, they don't care what their gun looks like. And if it was a distraction, they'd probably change it. Ooh. Oh, man, the outlaw. Um, Rainbow Six Siege did it first, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta love the outlaw. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Alrighty. <laughs> but yeah, outlaw is one of my favorite weapons just because, you know, I have a, somewhat of a connection to it with my own game. And that's why I really liked it. I was like, oh, man, it's to give me, you know, a reason to play Valorant. Try it out, you know? <laughs> and that's really what got me back into Valorant is in that... Um, is you know when the outlaw got released super fun weapon to use Spike planted. oh wagon oh nice wall bang coming out from berkey is berkey usually the entry fragger 
Usually, yeah. Uh, we we do have we do have some initiators to back them up, but uh, two versus it, two. Uh, it, it really depends on the site and the situation, but we actually usually have uh, a Yoru do the do the actual entering as hey, a duelist. Berkey's really destructive, by the way. I hate to interrupt. Oh man, no, May. Yeah, he is he's shredding. Great kill for May, and you know that's just another. <laughs> no, you defuse. No, you defuse. <laughs> no, no, you, you defuse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, lo love to see it. Again, they have their retakes down on, on lock, uh, so they are totally willing to take a step back, let the enemies plant, and say, yeah, sure, plant, we will run over you, uh, as we've seen in the last two rounds. We'll see if they're, we'll, we'll, they're able to keep it up, though. Uh, after after two rounds, uh, in uh, when the phases were swapped, Skyhawks, you know, they, they were able to secure the two rounds after uh after the first two they were able to secure rounds three and four uh so maybe they'll have the same luck here maybe they'll, maybe they'll be able to adapt to ecu strategy a, a little bit i'm really interested to see what they what they pull out here and they you can see that they are uh, rushing a both through uh, uh both through mid and showers not really rushing but you can see them um, like trying to take that space and quickly moving in and leaving hotshot on his lonesome over there in b There we go. Nice Hawk makes his way There's out. So many spikes. Nice TP away. So many, uh, so many <laughs> smokes. So many Yoru blinds. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard to see what's going on right now. Both teams are just like panicking. Like, what do we do? What do we do? Oh no! The Hawk makes its way out, but Emino finds the elimination onto May. Yeah, May ha May caught with her util out. Easy finds. An elimination with the Bucky finds another one. Can he find another? Bucky. Oh, does get some damage with the Bucky, Bucky. Gaming. <laughs> Bucky Gaming. Love what it. A, what a what a great play. It's a three versus two situation. Playing patiently here now will be the Skyhawks. A short peaks. Gotta watch out though. They're just assuming somebody's on the defuse. They can't even get it to halfway. It's a one versus one. Oh, oh it misses. M and O with a great satchel. Oh. That satchel was perfectly timed to move out of the way. If, if he didn't satchel right at that exact moment, Hotshot would have, or um, Berkey would have found the kill. Actually, with how close they were, do you think Bucky would have actually took him, took themselves out too? <laughs> you ever think about that? Like, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like they they, they might have, and that would have been a really funny round. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, five to ten. ESU still leading by five. Yeah, they only have to clutch out three more rounds if they're going to win this. But as you can see, their uh, uh, Skyhawks are changing up their strategy, going for a uh, B push this time. They haven't really, they haven't really done this yet this game. So we'll see if ESU is ready for it. The Yoro does help clear sight show that they are committing to uh, to B. Slowly but surely, they're getting pinched off. But uh, the comps have gone through. ESU is ready. Oh, wait a minute. Berkeen Hotshot already managed to find three eliminations, five to two. And that's a spike. ESU now has spike control. If they can just keep a hold of that, they, they can solve this game the entire time. And that they just beautiful round. That's just a beautiful round. Only losing one. Only one casualty from the side of ESU. I love how quickly they were on the rotate. You know, showing the, the, the Yoru ult was uh you know such a, a big indicator that uh for that the skyhawks were committing to the b push mm -hmm. uh so uh, hotshot coming through to uh, uh to communicate that calling for people to rotate i think that was absolutely crucial what, what am and, i what what is <laughs> what was that <laughs> why did the timer go negative <laughs> <laughs> something was wrong with the timeout but there is a, uh we did see a technical timeout call from uh uh um, one of the players from the side of I, I actually can't yeah, remember. I think, I think a headset died. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Who brought the triple A battery? Somebody please. No, I'm joking. We'll see. Yeah, that that was interesting. I'm still kind of baffled at the negative timer. That kind of, that started freaking me out. I'm like, what is it counting down for? Yeah, I've ne you know I've never seen a negative timer in Valorant before. Oh, uh, well, yeah, there's a was, first for everything, I, I guess. Was, I was kind of kind of trippy. All right. Well, what do you think ESU, you know, they're the ones ahead. They're only two rounds away from the win. One round away from securing an overtime if we get to that point, right? What do you think ESU needs to do? Do you think they need to change anything? Do you think that the Skyhawks will get used to what their play style is right now? So right now, ESU's play style is very much of a uh, let them come forward, let them plant, and then we will play retake, and we will... Um 
Okay, it, it's still uh, it, it's still paused. Uh, but they are much like <laughs> we will play retake. We will you know force you guys to be uncomfortable while you're defending. Uh, and so far, I think I think that is absolutely working. And uh, with only two more rounds, you know they they really don't have to change up the game. I don't want to see ESU taking too many risks here. I think they just need to be keep playing consistent and keep trying to squeeze out those last two rounds until the Skyhawks get to you know you know eight or nine uh on on their score count then maybe they need to change something up they need to look at what's not working and adapt but until then i want to see them playing solidly i wanted to see them playing how they have been uh and going for that consistency there's no reason to change the script now yeah i think the one you got to watch out for though is berkey right i think out of i think two or three rounds already in the second half they've already managed to find their ultimate berkey's getting a new headset <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. Luckily, right, right. Luckily, we have some on spare uh, uh, just in case something like this were to happen. So hopefully we're back in game uh, pretty quickly. Yeah, shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully he's he's okay with the wired headset, though, as ESU and, you know, Northwest Missouri State. They are here in person in the arena. So if any viewer, any viewer, of course, wants to come on by, Griffin, Hornet, Bearcat wants to stop on by if they're in the area. Of course, they're more than welcome to the Griffin Esports Arena and Blum Union. Shameless plug. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, there ain't nothing shameless about it. It is a beautiful space. I appreciate uh, that. We are we are very lucky to be to be playing in the in this arena. So uh, thank you guys for for hosting us. Oh no problem, no problem. All right, we are live. All right, sure thing. Ten seconds before we get into this, po what possibly could be the second to last round. All right, as you can see, Easy's there. letting out some, you know, as as you're, you know, <laughs> built yeah, up anger. Look, look at that, that's great. <laughs> I kind of like what Skyhawks are doing here, though. They're going back to what worked uh, when they won last time, going for that that sort of split A push, uh, ta uh, you know, clearing space to together. Uh, and this time, there's two on B, so they're gonna have a look little bit easier time going through U-Haul. Fast left. Oh, no, I don't think Berkey quite accept, or expected that one. Look at it, though. Three versus two. ESU is ahead by one. May finds Jay Grins. A couple of blinds make their way out. Now, we, we saw the Viper rotating. I love how quickly this happened. Oh, the Viper was rotating shot. to A, and then they heard the TP. Uh, so now they are regrouping to push uh, B site. But as, we, as we've seen, ESU is perfectly comfortable playing on the retake. Skyflash will see one uh, in the in the the B halls. <laughs> Dog gets blocked for a second, but <laughs> trying to clear the rest of the site. See someone, see someone in tube, so they're aware of that. Oh, May, can they find another? Yes, May. Actually, May before going down finds that extra elimination. Giving it to May, I think that's four K. Very impressive. Yeah, May was only one point off of the, the Sky Ultimate, which can be so impactful when you're just asking those questions of where are they? Where Where is the enemy team? No, I either, to be right I'm, now? I'm going crazy, but what is that symbol above Sky's head, actually? I've never seen that. If you look at the top of the screen, am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. <laughs> I, I've never seen that before, whatever that symbol means. Oh, it's who are spectating. Yes, Darren, you dork. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a little awkward. I was like, what is that? I was like, what is that doing up there? I, you know, I was looking at the wrong sky. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, there's nothing above <laughs> You looked over at my screen like, man, this yeah, guy's like, what are you scorched Darren about, guy you know? is crazy. <laughs> oh, not the Odin, bro. Oh, I know. Not the Odin. Come on, man. They're just college no, kids. Zeke, Zeke is cracked with the Odin. He's cracked with the Odin and he's cracked with Bucky. We'll see how this one makes its way out. We already have Brimmy with the stimmy throwing it down. That tries pre-firing through. Jay Grins finds one elimination. See him watching that corner very smartly, trying to get something. Your ult does find uh, the Yoru, not quite able to wallbang him, but Ghost Up does find the kill on the enemy Yoru. Yeah. Four versus four. Nice flash. Can't prevent the spike from going down and can't stay alive long enough. Oh, oh. This is scaring me here, easy. It's going to be forced to push out of Lanterns. It's going to hold this tight angle. It is three versus two. Skyhawks have the advantage. <laughs> easy just Oh, my way. gosh. That's his, uh, that's his signature move. Spray and pray, I guess. Spray and pray. That's what he goes for. 
Oh, the spray through the smoke finds easy. Very well played from the side of the Skyhawks. Wow, it is now 6 to 12. ESU only needs one more round to clutch out uh, the first map, and then we'll, uh, it'll continue through the rest of the best of three. So, you know, I'm really excited to see what Skyhawks uh, do here. Uh, and uh, as expected, they're going back A. Uh, it's worked for them in the past. It's how they won their other rounds. I'm glad to see that they're sticking with what works. Here we are. He's doing it again. Letting out his anger. <laughs> well, that's going to be the meme of the night. Is he saying his, was it pent up anger? <laughs> yeah, his pent up anger being forced to play Brimstone. <laughs> that's right. He doesn't like playing Brimstone. He did not I forgot like about Brimstone that. Brimstone on this map. <laughs> he's doing. He's doing a pretty good job, though. And you know, it just shows that even if you don't like playing a certain thing, you know, player, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily, you know, how do I want to put bad at it <laughs> i guess you could, you, but you know, you know you can if you you know if players need to fill they should have that ability to fill and that's what we see here yeah easy really is a team player he's been playing with hornet esports for uh, years at this point ever since the the first conception of the original gaming club he's been mm -hmm. around so he definitely knows how to how to sacrifice himself for the team play for the team uh, but that being said, he still prefers Gecko. Yeah, I guess you could say that, you know, players, you know, filling in spots that are needed are pretty um, <clears throat> easy. Um, <laughs> so with that, oh, Ooh. nice shot by Berkey. Oh, my gosh. You know, this round is quickly, you know, everyone from the side of the Skyhawks are dropping one by one. I think we might actually just see the end of the game here. Goomba finds another. It is four to one. There's only one left. It's just the Viper. Oh, oh and the wow. We'll find Viper, and that will be the game. Yeah, very well played from game one of ESU. Now, of course, as we were talking about earlier, our Rocket League game starts at 730. So we'll definitely get word from that while we are off screen. That could possibly be our uh, last, you know, site of Valorant for now till we see your game against Northwest, right? Or, you know, we'll come back to this depending on if there is a reschedule uh, with... Uh, What's it called? Uh, okay, so word is we are getting ready for Rocket League. So on from that, Nathan, thank you so much for joining me on the Shoutcasting Desk. Very well played from uh, the first game, as we saw here, from ESU. But of course, viewers, we're going to go ahead and cut on over to a short break. We'll swap on over to, I believe, the Griffin Esports channel. Uh, and yes. then, you know, we'll see what happens from there. Uh, on Twitch, sorry, the Griffin Esports channel on Twitch, as I've just been told in my handy dandy little ear, ear, ear piece here. So with that, would you like to go ahead and close this one out? Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yeah, no problem. It's such a, such a great experience for being here. So, uh, And thank you all for watching. Yeah, I think we'll catch you guys later. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, well, for us, we're going to cut to a short break, but we'll catch <laughs> you later.